Here are three areas you should focus on besides technique. Too often we're so obsessed with the technique. And I do believe that wrestling, I don't know. I think some people say that it's 90% mental. I sort of disagree. Uh, I think it's, it depends on your issue. So uh, we look at wrestling in four areas. The mental side of wrestling, which is dealing with the stresses and anxieties of wrestling, right? Learning how to push yourself, being positive, even, you know, uh, dealing with your losses intellectually and not emotionally, having uh, a, a coaches and parents who are on the same board um, with those areas is, is also key. Second area, we call them pillars. There's four big pillars or columns to hold up the foundation of wrestling is your positioning. If you're terrible with positioning, if you give up your legs 17 times a practice, you know, wrestling's not 90% mental for you. It's not 90% technical. It's 90% positioning because you can't keep people off your legs. The third area of wrestling, besides the mental and emotional side of wrestling, positioning side of wrestling, is um, hand fighting and footwork. Hand fighting just means I can wrestle with my hands and use my hands to attack my opponent. You know, we can't stand there with our hands in our laps and uh, tap our opponent on the forehead and hope to eventually try to score, right? We have to go and get our opponent. And our rule, well, we try to push, pull, hit, pick, post, pass, and fake, right? And those of you who are study our DVD series in our system at perlerwrestling.com know that those are the seven key setups to wrestling. We also like to string our setups together. I might fake, pass, and push, and score. There's three setups sort of set together off of a collar tie. Um, we call that dynamic drilling. Some of you are familiar with that as well. So those are the three areas besides um, technique, okay? So you have your mental side of wrestling. You have your positioning. We have five power positions we focus on. And we also have our hand fighting, which is using your hands to wrestle. Uh, and the footwork side of wrestling, which is my ability to move smoothly around the mat, not be choppy, not be heavy footed and rigid for my stand, my head and shoulders not to rise when I move, right? To mostly stay in my staggered stance. We like a deep stagger, right pec over right knee, 60% of our weight on our front foot. Some of these things are familiar with those of you who've been through our camps and so forth. Uh, a squared stance is important, but only for circling. We like to be in our attack stance 90% of the time. Think about a snake that's coiled up. A coiled up snake is dangerous. One that's not coiled up is not. And then from a technique, I mean, we're big on technique too. We try to look at the positions that are, um, you know, you could boil it down to the best techniques in wrestling. You know, for our regular academy, we have about 30 techniques. For elite room, we have about 55, and um, you know, for our world-class wrestler program, we're uh, approaching over 80 techniques that we focus on. But the first 30 and 55 techniques are part of that drill plan as well, obviously, because that's the foundation, right? 90% of your points come from 10% of the wrestling. You should focus on that, and you should live there. But so, um, the main intentions of this video is just to get you focused on looking outside the box a little bit, you know, not just, you didn't want it bad enough. Well, no, your kid wanted it bad. I want to bench press 500 pounds, but it won't happen. I'm not ready. It's okay. I'm not a loser. I didn't wimp out. I can't do it, right? I can't even bench press 200 pounds. Not even close, but I used to could, right? Uh, so sometimes I think we get caught up in that wrestling is 90% mental and we're really screwing it all up. Then some of us are only on the technique path. Oh, where's a new move? I need to learn a new move. Well, why don't you focus on, you know, like we like to do at our 14-day uh, camp. Write down on three pieces of paper. How do I beat Iowa State? Make me drill it 900 times, literally 900 times. Invite my parents to come and watch the last practice so that, and my coaches if they want, so that, you know, you can prove that you did the job that we sent our kids to your camp to do. That's that's our camp, right? Just if it doesn't be Iowa State, we don't drill it. So sometimes we're always looking for new moves and new technique. And you really need to, your wrestling should get kind of smaller and focus, you know, right in there in that wheelhouse, you know. At our 14-day camp, we have 75 techniques. It was exactly 75 techniques, actually, that we that we just absolutely master. And kids start to win. But see, sometimes these things are also interconnected. So when I start to hold my position, people aren't scoring on me so much. So wrestling's a little more fun, isn't it? Plus, 
uh, I start to win more. And when I focus my efforts on the core technique areas of wrestling, I also start to win more. Now I don't choke and panic. I used to choke and panic and get all nervous and scared. Well, if you were to ask me to do a backflip on a balance beam, I would be nervous and scared. But an, a, a gymnast who's a level eight gymnast wouldn't be scared because they do it all the time. So skill, some reasons, some sometimes we're not confident because we're not prepared, okay? So think about the four areas of wrestling and how, um, you know, you want to attack all areas of wrestling and spend time there constantly. And I mean constantly. But also think about how maybe if you're only focused on those other one or two areas, which is very common, maybe, um, you know, I just think we have to get more organized. Just as keep working hard and being hot, tired, and sweaty, bouncing around like a program hopper, going from coach to coach, um, you know, practice to practice, you know, chasing workout partners, which is absolutely silly. Um, you know, hoping Kale Sanderson's going to call one day. He ain't going to call. Okay, you have to have a plan and a system in place. And um, you know, I'm just trying to open your eyes up to that. So good luck out there. Check us out at PerlerWrestling.com. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video if you think it will help someone else. And uh, good luck to you this season.